Welcome to the Show Me Now series of FireTide how-to videos. This video is how to set up and configure Hotport 5020 and Hotport 7020 nodes. By the end of this video, you will be able to unpack the nodes, attach the staging antennas, attach the power cables and the Ethernet cable, change the IP address of the administrator laptop, start a continuous ping, give power to each node, and verify connectivity of the mesh. We will use two Hotport 7020 mesh nodes to be a two-node mesh and the backhaul link for this demonstration. The Hotport 5020E node has one radio, and the Hotport 5020ER has a radio 1 and 2. Radio 1, which is the active radio in both models, is on the left side. The Hotport 5020 comes with an Ethernet cable, staging antennas, antenna adapters, a power over Ethernet injector and AC power cable, and a mount kit. Unpack both node boxes and make sure you have all of the parts. For this demonstration, you need one Hotport 5020E, one Hotport 5020ER, two Ethernet cables, and two power over Ethernet injector power cable assemblies. When you open the Hotport 7020 box, inside you'll find a smaller box that contains the accessories. The accessories include an AC power cable, a mount kit, staging antennas, and adapters. Each hot port 7020 node is about 5.4 kilograms or 12 pounds. Protect tabletops and lab benches with cardboard or rubber mats because the edges of the nodes can scratch wood, metal, or laminate surfaces. Let's take a look at the network topology. We're going to connect a laptop that has Hotv Pro installed to one of the hot port 7020 nodes. This wired Ethernet connection to the node makes that node a head node. We will give this node power and monitor it coming up. Next, we will power up a second hot port 7020, which will automatically join with the head node. These two nodes form the backhaul network. After that, you can give power to the hot port 5020 nodes one by one. Before we begin, let's make sure that the laptop has an IP address on the same subnet as the node. To do this in Windows 7, go to Start and enter View Network Connections. Double-click the LAN connection, click TCP IPv4, and then Properties. Enter 192.168.224.90. Do not enter 192.168.224.150 because that's the node's default IP address. Put two staging antennas on each of the hot port 7020 nodes. First, attach the antenna adapter to the antenna. Next, remove the rubber cover and then attach the antenna to radio one antenna one connector. Bend the antenna at the joint and position correctly. Do the same for radio two antenna one connector. Repeat this process for the other node. Attach the AC power cable to the first hot port 7020 node. Give the unit power and watch the LEDs. The unit will boot within a minute. To start a ping, open a command prompt, enter ping 192.168.224.150-T. Next, start Hotview Pro from the desktop shortcut. Single click the quick launch icon. To log into the mesh, enter the default IP address. The default username is admin, and the default password is FireTide, all lowercase. Uncheck the preload mesh checkbox if checked, and then click Login. After login, the Mesh1 tab appears. Click the tab to see the backhaul link. Under the icons, you'll see the model and name serial number. Each green dashed line indicates a link. Hotview Pro will prompt you to set the country code. It's important to set the country code to activate the radios at full strength. However, for a lab demonstration, you can set the country code later. When you click the icon of a node in the topology view, a larger icon appears on the right side of the screen. The yellow circles indicate the three available and unused Ethernet ports. To set up the power over Ethernet injector, insert the AC power cable into the injector body. Next, insert an Ethernet cable into the out port of the injector body. Next, insert the other end of the Ethernet cable into the port of the hot port 5020 node. When the injector is receiving power, the rightmost LED is green. When the node receives power, the two left LEDs are green. 
This setup is working correctly when you have three steady green LEDs. Next, verify that the hot port 5020 boots. This setup is ready for testing. In Hotview Pro, make sure that the hot port 7020, that is the head node, which is the one with the Ethernet connection to the laptop, has a small letter H on its icon. Next, make sure that you have two green dashed lines from the hot port 7020 head node to the other hot port 7020 node. Next, make sure that each hot port 5020 node has one link to a hot port 7020 node. It doesn't matter which one. You should configure the preferred neighbor to set persistence for the link. Right click the hot port 5020 that you want to configure and then go to edge mesh configuration. If the hot port is an ER model with two radios, you can set a preferred neighbor on radio one and a backup link for radio two. When you click the tabs named radio one and two, Hot View Pro shows you the correct link and its neighbor. To change the Radio 1 link to use another hot port 7020 node, select the neighbor by serial number in the available neighbor links table and then click Add. If this is the only change you intend to make, click Save. If you also want to change the backup link neighbor, click the Radio 2 tab, select the new backup neighbor from the available neighbor links table, click Add and then Save. Hot View Pro makes the updates immediately. The procedures in this video are sufficient for indoor testing. Use outdoor panel antennas for distance tests. Power over Ethernet injectors are not weatherproof. Thank you for watching.